Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this newsletter in Word. So I'm going to open a new document. I've just got a default document up here and the first thing we're going to do is simply insert all of the graphics. So go to insert, go to shapes, click on the drop down and select the square. We're just going to click and drag out a rectangle. If we deselect it, you can see there's a border line around this rectangle, which I want to get rid of. Select the shape, go to shape format, go along to this icon here, shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Now, because we're going to use a variety of these rectangles, I'm going to copy and paste it a few times. So select it, hold down your alt or option key, click and drag, and then click and drag again. So for here, I'm just going to move this one down to the bottom. This one I'm going to rotate and then I'm going to move this one to here and then this one simply going to move across to round about here. Now all of this can be fully edited. You can change the color of these, you can change the size, the location, anything you want to suit your needs. So I'm going to show you how to change the color of these rectangles. But first, before we do that, you might want to consider if you're putting images into your newsletter, you can actually match the colors. So let's go to insert go to pictures and click on the drop down. Now you may have your own pictures and you can do that from selecting them from your file, but I'm gonna use the stock images available in Word. Now at the search bar at the top here, I'm going to select business. Then I'm going to select this image here and click insert. When your image is inserted in Word, the first thing you want to do is select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. That will mean you'll be able to move it anywhere and fully customize it. I'm going to stretch this photo out so it reaches across the page and then I'm going to crop it so we only have a slice of it. So select it, go to picture format, go to crop and click. Using the black markers just click and drag so that you can select the amount of the image that you want. I'm going to select around about here then just press enter. So now I've got my image in, I can make some color changes to the graphics. So I'm going to select this rectangle here, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and go down to more fill colors. Now click on the color wheel and you can move this cursor anywhere you like in this color wheel and select the color of your choice to try and unmatch a color within your image and you've got the brightness and darken slider here. But alternatively, you might have the eyedropper tool. Some word programs don't have it, but some do. If so, you can click on the eyedropper tool. You can go anywhere over your image and select a color of your choice. And this means that we can have a more coherent newsletter. So it'll show up in this box here. If you're happy, just click OK. And you can see my rectangle has changed and you can go ahead and do that a number of times for the different shading in this image. Now when you click on another rectangle and you go back up to shape format or shape fill, click on the drop down and you have an option called recent colors. So any colors you've selected will come up in these recent colors. So as you can see I've used this image before and now I can select from any of these colors and use it within this newsletter. So let's just move this down, select this rectangle here. So on this one, I'm going to select a slightly darker shading there and also there as well. Then I'm going to move this image up and then I don't want it to dominate. So I'm going to change the transparency. So select it, go to picture format, go to transparency, click on the drop down and I'm going to select one of these two, maybe this one here. And then I'm going to move it to the back, so make sure it's selected. Picture format, go to send backwards and click on send to back. And then this rectangle here, once again, I'm going to change the transparency. Click on shape format and go over to format pane. Go down to the bucket icon 
click on the fill drop down and this is where you can change the color of that rectangle as well but I'm going to go down to the transparency slider and as I move it to the right you can see I can now begin to see the image through that rectangle so I'm going to leave it around 44 percent I'm just going to move this rectangle down and then you can play around with the graphics now if you like or we can put in all the content and then we can play around with it at the end to make sure it looks perfect so now to our text, let's go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and drag out a text box. Now once again, if I deselect this, you can see there's a black border and a white background, both of which we want to get rid of. So select it, go to shape format, click on this icon here, select the drop down and select no outline. And again with shape fill, no fill, and then we can type out our text. And then before we go ahead and customize this, I'm going to simply copy and paste it. Now I'm going to deselect it because my cursor is inside. So I'm going to deselect it and reselect it. So now my cursor's not inside, I can now copy and paste it. So I'm just going to hold down my Alt key, click and drag to copy that text box. I've now got both of them selected, but I only want this one selected. So deselect everything, reselect this box, and then I'm just going to make that box smaller. The reason I've done this is because we want a lot of other text elsewhere in this newsletter, but I'm going to customize this one at the top. So we've got a spare one here we can copy and paste for the rest of the text. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna to go to the Home tab. I'm going to increase the size of the text. I'm going to center it. And I'm going to change the font to Helivector. Just increase the size of this box a little bit to get it all in. Then go to Shape Format. Go to the Alignment tool here. Click on the drop down and click Align to Center. That will perfectly center that word to your page. Then just quickly knit back to the Home tab change the font color to white. Now I'm just going to move this down with my arrow keys and then I'm going to copy and paste this again by holding down my alt key, clicking and dragging. And once again, I'm just going to change the text, put the word business in, select the text, go to home, use the increase font size tool here to increase the font size change the font color to white, and then going to change the font to Helivec to light, and then just use my arrow keys to try and line up the letter B with the letter N. So you can see my cursor's inside again, I want to just click on the box so I don't have the cursor inside the box, and just move that over to the left. Whenever you're doing something like this, try and line things up with each other even though they may be at the top or the bottom of the page because it just has a much cleaner look to it. I'm going to move that newsletter up a little bit. Now I just need an additional box because I want to put a white line across here. So I'm going to select this one, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag, reduce the size of it and move it over here. Let's reduce the size of it there. Again, I'm going to try and line the end up here with the R. And then using my arrow keys, I'm just going to move that up. I just want to make it a little bit thinner. There we go. Move that up. And then go to Shape Format. Go to Shape Fill. Click on the drop down and select White. So now to some more text. We're going to change this text to Helivector. There we go. And then I'm just going to copy this a few times. Whoops. Then just copy this a few times. There we go. It's much quicker and easier to delete them than it is to copy them once they've been customized. So we're going to need some text in here. We're going to need two text boxes in here, a title here, some text here, another title here, and some text here as well. So we could probably get rid of this one. So in this one, we'll put a title. 
Now I will copy and paste these. I'm sure you don't want me to watch me typing everything out. So I'm going to copy and paste a lot of these from the previous example. So all I've done is change the text color just expand the box out to ensure everything's correctly lined up. I'll come back and line everything up with this rectangle that's behind it when we finish all of this text in this column. And just pasting some more text in. It's going to make this rectangle a bit bigger here. So for this text, I've just changed the font color to match our color palette. So I think I've matched it with this color. If not, I can just select it all, Command Control A, go to the Home tab, go to the font colors. Your recent colors will still be here. And let's just select that one, make it the same color as this rectangle. Okay, so now we've got everything in the column. The first thing I'm going to do is just make sure it's spaced out to where I want it to be using my arrow keys. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to select all of these and the rectangle behind because I want everything to be in the middle of this blue rectangle here, this long rectangle. Make sure everything's in the center. So select the blue rectangle, hold down your command or control key and select everything we've just inserted. Go to shape format, go to the alignment tool and click on the drop down and select align to center. And then all of these middle squares should be lined up. If they're not, just go back to align and click on it again. And eventually they will all line up perfectly. Sometimes it takes a couple of goes for it to line up. Now I've just forgotten we've got a little bar of white that goes across here, which is another rectangle. So I'm gonna copy and paste this rectangle. And first I'm just actually gonna reduce the size of it. And then go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, and go to White. And that just slices that in that way. You can use two different rectangles if you want, but I think it's quite nice to be able to move this to say where we actually want it, because you can put this anywhere you want, so it's really just a visual preference. Here we're just going to put in our text columns. So generally, when you make a newsletter, you want to capitalize on as much space as possible. So I'm going to select both of these boxes to make sure they're lined up. Go to Shape Format, go to Align, and select Align to Top, and then they'll be perfectly lined up in this space. Now. We can try and line up this box here with the text. As I said before, it's quite good to make sure things are lined up if possible. And they're lined up with the text there. And then we just need to put our text in. And again, we'll line this text up with the edge of this text here. And then we can insert another image here. And then go back to insert picture, picture from file, sorry, picture from stock images. And then simply scroll down and select what you want. Once again, when your image is inserted, go to wrap text and click in front of text, and then you can move it. Now you can either resize it as it is, or we can crop it. So I'm gonna select this image, go to picture format, go to crop, and I'm just going to make this more of a square crop for the bottom here. Then just press enter once you're happy, and then you can resize it and place it where you want. So I'm going to place it try and get this square in the middle of these two columns. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys. And then to make sure it's tied to the bottom of this rectangle, this larger rectangle, select the image, hold down the command or control key and select the larger rectangle at the back. Go to align and select align to bottom. And it will line up these two graphics at the bottom here. Now, sometimes when you insert a second image, the colors don't quite go with the colors that you've selected or the color palette on your newsletter. If that is the case, there are some alterations you can do. So if you select your image, go to picture format and you've got color at the top here. If you click on that, you can sometimes reduce the color saturation, which we can do here, but also because our color is more based around blues, we can actually use the color tone to reduce the yellows and make it a cooler color here. 
that will make our image blend more with our selected color palette. So once you're happy with your newsletter, you can do several things. You can save this as a Word document as normal. You can save this as a template, go to save as template, and then you can ensure that it's saved under templates and also file format Microsoft Word templates. This will mean that when you open up Word, your templates are available and you can open it up. This, will, this file will come up and you can make various adjustments to it. And then when you go to save it, it will ask to be saved as a completely different document. And the original is always there to use over and over again. Additionally, you can go to file, save, click on file format, and you can save it as a PDF file. So once you've done that, don't forget this is fully customizable. You can choose any colors you like. And if you want to do a second page, you merely use all the tools and techniques I've showed you to create a beautiful second page. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.